in this video we're going to look at how to design a flyer like this and this is coming up hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so yeah a link to download the resources will be in the description please check it out so i grabbed some images from google i'm going to put some text on it and then basically this flyer should be ready this is going to be pretty simple so let's get into photoshop here we are in the magic world of photoshop the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new document so we go to file and then new if they're using cc 2018 1920 you should know what to do so i'm going to click okay because i'm using a 4x4 four four inch over here that is it is designed specifically for um social media so you're going to click okay from here and then you should have something like this first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add a solid color so i go to the layer adjustments here and i'm going to add a solid color to this so i've already set the solid color over here this is the color that i'm using in case you want to follow suit so I'll go ahead and then I'll click OK. Next off, I'll go to my resources. Apparently, this particular design is full of images and a little bit of effects and then tests. So almost all the backgrounds are images that are already made. So I'm going to grab this particular first image over here and I'm going to put it inside of Photoshop. So like I told you, it is already set up nice background for us to use. It is beautiful popping and stuff like that but then we're going to add a couple of effects to this so you don't really have to maintain it as you got it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and then rasterize now i'm going to add a layer max to this one so that i can get rid of some parts that i don't really like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open it up like a right click and then i'm going to open the size up like that and then i'm going to get rid of these parts that i don't really want you can just it depends on where you want to delete now just understand that whenever you have the foreground color to be black it will be erasing like this one and then when you have it to be white you can like you change it like this using the x you can erase or bring back what if you erased right so you can just do that and then once you're done with this you can literally move on to the next step and that is we're going to the resources again and then we're going to import in this particular background as well so it is already made background also but then we're going to just blend it with this one the idea here is getting like nice pictures or images and putting them together to come up with our own yes so you right click on this one and then you're going to rasterize it also and then i'm going to push this one here up a little bit so i'm going to add my layer max over here because we don't want all these parts so you're just going to get rid of it like that so like this and then you just make sure that it blends with the first background that we set so we go ahead and then we're going to set this to soft light right over here and then you can see that it is actually blending with the last or the first background that we set we're going to bring in our last background which of course is going to complete the backgrounds for us so this one right over here this image i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i'm going to put it over here so i right click and then i'm going to rasterize the layer add the layer max to this one and then i'm going to paint off this side but you can basically first set it to overlay first so that you can see exactly where you want it to be so i'm going to brush off this area like that if it feels like it is some something like like reddish you just have to paint all of it to make sure that you have a nicer look as to how you want it and then you can press ctrl l to add a couple of levels to it actually that is the main reason behind why we rasterize these layers because if you don't photoshop will not give you access to a lot of these stuffs so you can either add the levels to it or you can just get rid of it once these ones are done you can select the three of them press ctrl g and then you're going to group that into what we call the background it is actually a good point to group your layers when you are designing a flyer because it gives you that clarity you don't mess things up you just know where everything's supposed to be and then you can easily access them 
so inside the background group you can give it some kind of cinematic look or some kind of level so you can come to the adjustment layer over here and then you can add a couple of curves to it if you so want to if this one looks kind of brightening for you so you can drop the curves down a little bit like this so that you can get that kind of like darkness on it it makes that look good kind of like cinematic instead of leaving it to be bright and like that one so if you see that if you turn these curves on you have the different look and if you turn the curves back on let me know in the comment section which one do you prefer in between these two the curves on or the curves off so once we are done with this the main thing here the main effect that we're going to create is on the test and then the cross so i'm going to choose my test over here so that is the main thing that we are going to do if you are designing this for a church or say an institution you can basically bring the church name and then the logo or something like that but because this is just a tutorial let's go ahead and add this test straight away let's assume Inno graphics ministries okay so i'm going to select my test and i'm going to use a font called railway so i'm going to type the first thing here which is going to be the power all right so i'm going to select over here i'm going to select the bold like that and i'm going to press ctrl t to transform this one out like this so let me add one more thing to it so the power of the cross that is what we're going to use for this video so with the power of and then the the power of the and then cross will come down so i'm going to press ctrl a to centerize this one press ctrl t to transform it out a little bit again and then i'm going to push this one up here like that i right click and go to the blending options i'm going to add because it is almost blending with the background we don't want it that way so we'll add a stroke to it and then we're going to change the color of the stroke to white and then boom we have this one like that i think with this one you can see the test even from behind so we can press ctrl t and transform it a little bit again like that and then you can close this one up over here next off you add another test to this one and that is going to be the cross so you can duplicate this one or you can still go for your test tool and you create another test so the test that we're going to put in here is cross and i'm going to change this font to a font called poppins i'll leave a link in the description in case you want to download each of these fonts so i'm going to open this one up by pressing ctrl t so i'll make it big like that and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centerized like this so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to change the color of this particular test to white so i don't want this to be that spaced out i'm going to select all of this one go to the toggle character over here and then i'm going to decrease or kind of like make this tracking a little bit slow so i'm just going to close it up something like this we do so that it wouldn't be that spaced out so i'll press ctrl t again and transform it again i want it to be much bigger like this because it is almost like the only thing that is going to take the whole of this particular flyer okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to bring another thing on top of this cross so let's go back to our resources and over here i'm going to bring this particular resource file inside of photoshop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to this one you can choose to rasterize or not but i'm going to right click and create a clipping mask so that it is basically going to be just inside of the cross now i told you earlier if you want to have access to a lot of things in photoshop you have to rasterize it layer so you right click and then you're going to rasterize this because you want to add a couple of adjustments to it so you're going to press ctrl l to make sure that the levels is selected and you're going to decrease the levels over here so that it can really show like this and then you go ahead and then you click ok now what we're going to do next is we come back to the cross and we're going to add some couple of effects to this so what you see in the thumbnail is not actually a 3d so you right click and go to the blending options and we're going to add just two layer styles to this so the first one with the auto glow so you check this one out and this is the color that i used so i'll paste it right over here and the size i'm going to increase it up a little bit to around 80 84 and increase the opacity so the next one is going to be an inner shadow so i'm going to set this to the inner shadow i'm going to click on it 
and everything is going to be remain as it is zero zero over here we just want this inner shadow around it so basically this is not like a 3d test as you see it in a thumbnail or something like that it's just a couple of things put together to make this look really good so beneath this particular cross i want to put another image to fill this all over here so i have this particular image it is in the resources this particular image i just brought it in and cropped it out so i'll send it inside of photoshop and then it is going to be underneath of here i love this particular sun that is showing over here it makes it look popping and stuff like that so i press ctrl t to transform it out make sure that the cross is showing and then i press ctrl l to add a couple of levels to it so i drag these levels up to this side and then i'll click ok i'll go for my eraser tool and then i'm going to erase this part you can basically use the masking but we don't really need that at this time so once it is done like this everything looks good and clean we can move ahead to add the scripture to it so on top of this one i want to add my test but then i'll first add this particular small rectangle here i'm going to change the color to this particular color white and then i'm going for my test tool so i'll go for the test tool over here and then you realize that when you bring it here it wants to pick the test of the cross so i'll bring it way down i've already copied my test so i'm going to paste it over here and then it looks clean from here so i'll press ctrl t transform it out a little bit to make small like this and i'm going to drag it up over here now you can select both the rectangle and the the test and then you're going to close it up you shift it over here so that you can have your alignment to be on point so after i'm done with this i'm going to select from galatians over here to the power and i'm going to press ctrl g to group that and i can name that main so once we're done with this the last aspect that we're going to work on will be around here the photo everything that you basically want to bring over here so i'll start off by selecting my rectangle to over here I'll create a rectangle I'm going to change the color by double clicking on the layer thumbnail and I'll change this to the color white once I'm done with that I'll go for the rectangle to the game I'll create another rectangle like this and I'm going to right click go to the blending options and then I'll add a gradient overlay so I'll go to the gradient pack and I'm going to select this one that I used so once I'm done with that I'm going to click OK and then I'll make sure that this is set to reverse so that the color that kind of the brightening one will come on top here and then I'll click OK we're done with that so inside of this one if you have like the date or venue that is where you're going to put that one so I'll go for my test tool and then I'm going to type 10th April the good Friday is on 10th April so I'm going to change this one I'm going to set the toggle character to this one I'm going to clear this one off and then I'll change the color to white like that i'll click ok and then ok and then i'm going to bring it inside of the rectangle the reason why i did not write in the rectangle because it is going to stick to it so you just have to bring it over here you press ctrl j and then you're going to make a duplicate you change this one to april so thanks april and then you can squeeze that one out a little bit as well and then you make a duplicate again and then you can change this one to 2020 so the year that you are watching this one you just replace it basically and then you have your date over there so if you have venue and time and other stuff so you can just basically bring it over here but since we don't have i'm going to write here like church auditorium so that is going to be the venue for this one and then i'm going to change the font to railway and then i'm going to change this one to semi bold italic so just like that and then you can position it over here you press ctrl t and then you can transform it out like this and lastly i'm going to add a test on top of this white background so i'm going to select it and i've already copied the test so i'm going to paste it like that the color i'm still using the color that we use for the background so you press ctrl t and then you can transform this one out like this and then you can leave it over here so let me transform out a little bit more and then you can have it over here so leave your good friday or easter message inside of the comment section i will read all of them this is mine to you um, on this particular good friday and easter this is what i have for you 
and basically yeah that's it if you have any other thing that you'd want let's say if you have had like a lot of information to put on this one it would have occupied all these places and it will make it look much more awesome than this one but then these are the information that i have and what i came up with i hope this video was helpful and then it gave or sent out a message to someone out there and don't forget to group your works as well that will be pretty much it thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you guys in the other one it's innocent here and bye